Coach Jeremy Collin, big game two victory to take a 2-0 series lead here against Manitoba. You knew this Manitoba Moose team was going to come out pushing in that opening period. And the Ice Dogs, one way or another, found a way to weather down the storm and get some scoring of their own. But, I mean, what did you like from this group as it was a more of a grind-out effort from your Rockford Ice Dogs here today? Yeah, they did come hard, and uh, they were desperate, especially in the beginning. Uh, they had a really good push against us. Uh, you know, we, we kind of survived it. I think, um, you know, like us to be a little bit better in our end. Thought we missorted it a few times, and they got a couple good looks. Uh, end up scoring, but um, you know we weathered the storm, and then we got a big goal at the end of the period. And I think for us to come in one-one was probably a bit of a blow to them. And uh, after that, I thought we we got better as the game went on, just sort of like last night. And uh, again, big power play goal, and um, I think we closed the game on pretty well. Talking about a big blow. I mean. You their lead was about maybe, what, two and a half minutes long, and then you go in the second period. They dominate that frame. They had 14 shots on goal to your six, but somehow the Ice Hawks find ways to hit the back of the net. I imagine that second period also took a lot of wind out of their sails and helped build up the Ice Hawks side. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it was a 14-6 period. Um, they definitely had their chances, uh, but I, I liked how we played. Uh, second period, we had a little bit of pushback and, and uh, you know, played in there and we had chances of our own. And then, uh, you know, we go into the third period in pretty good position, up 3-1, and I, I think we're solid from there. So, um, you know, road game, whatever, whether we're home or away, it doesn't really matter how it looks as long as we get the win. But uh, tonight, uh, especially, we just had to grind it out. Not much time in between games, and uh, a lot of guys were good. And it seemed like you had to really rely on your depth of players as well. You had Luke Johnson a little banged up in the in that game. William Peltier as well. It looked like Adam Clendenning was floating around and, and uh, taking shorter shifts. But it had to be a nice luxury to have, knowing that you can turn to guys that get a little bit more ice time to help produce and, and keep the ball rolling the right direction. Yeah, I mean, everyone in playoff time has bumps and bruises. So um, it's nice to, to have a, a lot of depth. I thought, uh, you know, guys like Forsling and Dahlstrom really – ate a lot of ice and um, they're very good. It was an uh, excellent effort. And now, I mean, you have a couple of days to, to process, a nice flight home to regenerate, but obviously Manitoba has been a very good road team. It's been well documented throughout the regular season compared to a 500 record at home. What are you anticipating looking ahead to game three? It's a new game. Uh, they're des they're going to be desperate. They they clearly got to got to win. Um, you know, we just want to keep getting better. I, th I don't think we played our best hockey yet. Uh, we're winning, but we, we have more to give. So uh, that's what we'll talk about over the next couple of days, uh, things we can clean up. And um, also we'll talk about the areas we're doing a really good job and try to keep going. Um, I think we're being pretty hard to play against uh, in their end. I think we're doing a very good job with our uh, offensive zone time. And, uh, you know, that's something I think we're going to continue to harp on and be hard on them.